Hey everyone, there's been two huge updates over the past week that I really wanted to show you what they are, how they work, and how they could directly benefit you. And the only way that I thought this was possible was to really just show it to you in real time, how it works, and how you could combine these revolutionary breakthroughs to directly help your business. So the first one was Google Gemini released their multimodal live API with Gemini 2.0, as you can see on my screen right now. What this is in a nutshell is you're able to share your screen and have a conversation with whatever is on your screen to learn new things, no more taking screenshots and putting into a chat and asking questions. You could have a conversation partner real time asking anything that's on your mind. Now, the applicability for this is really insane because now you can just learn anything right away, ask your questions and get answered in real time. Now, the best way that I wanted to show this to you is how to walk through Sora, which was another major breakthrough because there's so many settings, so many different presets that I'm not sure exactly what they mean, but what better use case is then to try to walk you through Sora while using the latest breakthrough through Gemini. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to share my screen, click entire screen, click share. You are currently live on your capabilities. Say hi to everyone. Okay, you are going to take me on a walkthrough and you are currently live on your capabilities. You are saying hi to everyone so I want you to say hi to everyone because I'm going to be sharing this video. Okay, you would like me to say hi to everyone because you are going to be sharing this video. I'm happy to do that. Hello, everyone. Okay. Now, we are going to go to Sora. So I am going to do a walkthrough of Sora and I want you to help me walk through the features and what I can do with it. Okay, you are gonna go to Sora and do a walkthrough of the features and what you can do with it. So here is the dashboard for Sora. And first, I just want you to tell me a little bit about what Sora and what it could do. Okay, you're showing me the dashboard for Sora and would like me to tell you a little bit about what Sora is and what it can do. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, from what I see, Sora is a video editing platform. It appears to have features to upload, view, and edit videos. It also has the ability to create storyboards for videos. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay, so for our first one, I want you to name out all these presets and tell me what each of these presets do. Okay, for our first one, you want me to name all the presets and tell you what each of those presets do. The presets are None, Balloon World, Stop Motion, Archival, Film Noir, and Cardboard and Papercraft. Do you want me to explain what each of them does right now? Yes. And how do they work? And which one should I try first? Okay, I will explain each preset, how they work, and which one you should try first. None means that there is no preset selected, so no filter will be added to the video. Balloon World will add a more cartoon-like feel to the video, using bright colors and curved lines. Stop motion will make the video appear as though it was made using still images, giving it a slightly jerky appearance. Archival gives the video a feel of being older, like something found in a historical archive. Film Noir makes the video black and white and creates a cinematic experience with deeper shadows and contrasts. Cardboard and paper craft will make the video look as though it were made using cutout shapes on a paper background. For which to try first, I'd recommend none to see the base video and then Film noir for a classic look. That okay. help? Yeah, so what should I do for my first video to show its capabilities? Give me a scenario to type up. Okay, for your first video to show the capabilities of Sora, you could start with a scenario about a cat trying to catch a laser pointer. This allows you to use the basic features of the software, like adding music or sound effects and some of the presets to make it more whimsical or dramatic. Is that something you would like to try? Yep, I'm typing that in right now. Okay, I see that you're typing a cat trying to chase a laser pointer. 
Do you need my assistance with anything else at this point? No, so I just added that to my queue and now we'll do the film noir. So now tell me a scenario for this one. Okay, I see that you've added the A cat trying to chase a laser pointer video to your queue and now you want to try the film noir filter. For that, you could try a scenario of a mysterious stranger walking down a rainy city street at night. The darkness and rain can emphasize the film noir look. How does that sound? Okay, is this good? Yes, that scenario sounds great for the film noir filter. Maybe I'll do a 16 ratio. What's the difference between these ratios? Okay, you are considering a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and are asking what the difference is between them. A 16 to 9 ratio is a widescreen aspect ratio typically used for television and movies, while a 9 16 aspect ratio is a vertical aspect ratio usually used for videos designed for mobile phones. Is there any more I can help you with? What's the 1 1? Okay, the 1 to 1 aspect ratio is a square aspect ratio and is often used in social media videos and posts. Okay, so I'll do the 16 to 9 and I'll add that. And now the cat is ready. So this is the video. Okay, you have added the 16 to 9 ratio and the cat video is ready to go. I'm here if you need any more assistance. Okay, so it doesn't look like the pointer is moving very well. Could you tell me what these edits on the bottom mean and which one I should try out to make the video better. Okay, it seems the laser pointer isn't moving very much in the video. You want to know what the edit options at the bottom mean and which one to try to make the video better. The options are edit prompt, view story, recut, remix, blend, and loop. Edit prompt allows you to change the text prompt used to create the video. View Story takes you to the storyboard for the video. Recut will allow you to automatically recut the video into a new, shorter video. Remix can add variations to the current video or create a totally new video based on your prompt. And Blend lets you combine multiple videos into a single video. Loop allows you to loop the video so it plays continuously. In this case, if you are not satisfied with the laser pointer's movement, I would recommend trying Remix to generate a new video with a modified laser pointer. Is that something you would like to try? Okay, I'm going to write, make the laser move more for this video. Is there a better way to phrase this? Sure, the video shows a cat chasing a laser pointer on the floor. The user is asking if the prompt, make the laser move more, is good or should they change it? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, it sounds like you're looking for feedback on the prompt itself. What are your goals for the movement of the laser? I mean, I wanted to make it look more realistic. Okay, to make the laser movement look more realistic, you could try to include elements like make the laser dart around erratically or move the laser in quick, unpredictable motions. Would something Some like that work? The laser. Okay, you want to move the laser. I'm going to click remix. Okay, so you're going to remix the video now. Now, so now I'm going to go back to this one where we did the mysterious stranger walking through a city night. And how do you think this looks? Okay, you've switched to a different video showing a mysterious figure walking down a street at night. Yes. Okay, the video has a strong film noir aesthetic with its black and white color scheme and shadowy figure. The use of light and shadow creates a mysterious and suspenseful atmosphere. Is there anything specific about the video that you'd like feedback on? Okay, I want to take this video and use it to recut it and then use the storyboard feature to add something to it. So I'm going to shorten this to, let's say, okay, 10 seconds. And then what could I add to this video over here where it would make something cool for a second screen? Okay, you've shortened the video to 10 seconds and are now looking to add a second screen. Or you don't scene. need to repeat everything I said back to you. I just want you to answer the question. 
Understood, you're looking for ideas on what to add to the second screen of the video. I won't repeat back what you've said. Do you have any specific ideas about what you're hoping for the added content to do, such as continuing the theme of the mysterious figure, or something completely different? Maybe he sees another person. Okay, so the mysterious figure could encounter another person in the second scene. You could show the person from a distance. Okay, so the prompt is, he enters an alley. Do you want help formulating the rest of the prompt for that second scene? Okay, so I'm just gonna write, he enters an alley and click create. Okay, it looks like the second scene with the prompt, he enters an alley has been added to the queue. Is there anything else I can help you with at this time? Go back to the cat video and see what happens. Okay, you wanna go back? Okay, it sounds like you're going back to the cat video to see the results. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. So the pointer does look better. That's pretty cool. Great, it seems like you're happy with the results of the updated laser movement in the cat video. Is there anything else you'd like to explore or modify? Okay, so I just stopped the screen share with the video and for some reason in the middle, it shut off. So I had to restart it. And that's why it seemed like it didn't know exactly where it left off. What I don't like was it kind of was repeating everything back to me before it answered my question. So I'm gonna need to see on maybe how I could enter custom instructions where it'll just answer my question and not validate my response every single time. And here is the storyboard feature for Soro. And let's see how it edited. It, well, he did not go into an alleyway. So what I just showed you is such a novel and cool way to apply two breakthrough features that were just released to learning new things. Because now as you explore different applications, different scenarios, you can have your personal assistant help you navigate and learn new things as you do them live. As I just demonstrated, you can just go through a new application and ask it, explain these buttons to me. What do they mean? What should I try? And this is such an exciting breakthrough that I'm going to show a full analysis of Sora later because I played around with all the different prompts and different scenarios and I made an ad through Sora and I'm going to do a full analysis of Sora, but I wanted to try to show you how you can try to combine these two different breakthrough innovations in one video and how you could really use it to help you learn things faster and better. And I hope this was helpful to you. And if you have any suggestions on how I could help you better, how I could try different things out, leave a comment below. Click that button to follow for more.